Three liter diesel, baby. Three liter, I barely fit. Wow, the Forester's got more headroom than this. Um, let's, that makes it worse. Um, shit. That's all, shit. who built this rig, but it is red. It has got a little bit of everything. I mean, hello. A little bit of a Star Wars inspiration. This is exactly, exactly the level of build we want to complete with the new truck. This is awesome. Compliments to the governor of the house. We have made it back to Master Tune here in Calgary to pick up our beautiful little Hilux Surf right there. We are crazy behind the eight ball today. I need to go and get this registered and head back to BC. My wife just is going to be starting a new position and she's actually going to be in Kelowna. So she definitely has to make a mile back home. Uh, I think we're gonna go settle up with Rick inside, thank them for their help, and head over to the registry, get this thing registered so we can head home. All right guys, I need to go inside, so I'll let you go and get on the road quickly. All right guys, $2,100 later and we are all sorted. I am gonna jump into our beautiful new Hilux Surf, take that off the seat. Oh, bam, loving it, loving it. So, let's fire this bad boy up. <laughs> Three liter diesel, baby. Three liter di I barely fit. Wow, the Forester's got more headroom than this. Um, let's, that makes it worse. Um, shit. That's all, 
Shit. No fool. And I have to drill the plate. Because <laughs> it's not Japanese. All right, team. I have put 166 kilometers on Master Chief four-wheel drive. And I'm really, really, really happy with the truck. I'm really, really happy with the work that Master Tune did. Except for there is one issue. Now, I know they reground my rotors, but You hear that vibration and you, you, you can feel it through the wheel. I think they forgot to replace my brake pads, which is, is in the grand scheme of things, a super minor fix. I'll jack it up and uh, rip off the wheels and throw in some new pads so that that little bit of uh, vibration is removed when I'm braking. But outside of that, the truck is running awesome. She'll just cruise in a okay all day and yeah uh, i'm pretty interested to find out what the fuel economy is going to be the three liter 1kd is supposed to be a really good uh little diesel i i will find out i'm gonna fill it up once i hit 500k and do the math to see what kind of uh liters per 100k i'm receiving all right guys i will check back in with you at my fuel stop i'll see you in a couple hours all right guys i was gonna check in with you when i needed to grab some fuel but i actually don't think i'm gonna need fuel for this trip so i did want to mention to you the two issues that are 100 percent a problem issue number one is the fact that I have zero headroom. There's way more headroom in the Forester. I mean, at the end of the day, that's why I bought it. I wanted to be able to put a helmet on inside the car so I could race the out of it. But yeah, so this is issue number one, which could probably be addressed by changing the rails on the seat because I have exhausted all the adjustability and it's not what I need it to be. Problem number two, is those brakes. I really don't think they change the pads when they reground the rotors and the chatter is I hate that word, but it is the only word that really describes how disgusting the brake chatter is. Like I'll just give you like a little bit. Oh, it's just barely, barely vibrating there. It's more when you're doing about a hundred and you just like, glance your foot off the brake pedal the steering wheel just grrr, even like shakes this part of the, the truck it's pretty crazy I'm gonna have to get these pads changed out immediately uh, provided that provided that that is actually the problem and it's not something else I'll catch him with I'll check in with you guys when I actually get home maybe two hours you are joining Magnus and I in Torterra bus. We got Master Chief four-wheel drive home last week. I uh, noticed that we, neither Rick nor I caught that we hadn't changed the pads when we reground the rotors and there was still a little bit of residual chatter left. So I broke the lug nuts. It was insane how tight they got torqued up. Employee number three on the invoice is who did the brake work on the truck, so Rick. Remind them to uh, make sure they check the torque spec and do up the lug nuts with the torque wrench, not a pneumatic tool like an air gun. That being said, we are floored with the service that we got from Master Tune. Uh, working with Rick was awesome. They got us out the door as quickly as they could and made the hit to the pocketbook not so intense. So thanks, Rick and the team at Master Tune, except employee number three. But, um, we wanted to shake down the truck after I changed the brake pads and me and the wife took it out and went on the power line and did a little bit of wheeling just to make sure that the four wheel drive system and everything works the way that it should. So without further ado, Magnus, do you want to do the honors? Get them to roll the tape or no? All right, wife, can you please roll the tape?
So when you are doing some uh, off-road driving, the name of the game is choosing a line that protects your drive line. Master Chief four-wheel drive has skid plates all the way underneath, fuel tank, everything. So it's not such an issue, but it's not something to be celebrated. You still need to uh, take your time in choosing your line and making sure you keep your drive line high and dry out of all the mud and away from all the rocks and stuff that can do damage to it. This is a very decommissioned Forest Service Road, which is perfect for us to test out what Master Chief four-wheel drive is like off-road. Yeah, this is perfect, actually. <laughs> right there. And I can use my mirror to see them while I'm clearing past them. That little mirror right there is outstanding for helping you choose a line and seeing where the obstacles you're trying to navigate are, as well as, I mean, lines on the road when you're um, driving in the motorway. This is my happy place, behind the wheel of something. Playing. <laughs> Here we go. It's no longer a road. This is no longer a road. <laughs> this is what Master Chief Four Wheel Drive got brought to us for. This is the good stuff. This is pretty hairy. All right guys, the wife got us down off the side of the mountain. Uh, we had some fun cruising around in the power lines and testing out the four wheel drive system, the locker, four wheel drive low to descend our way back down. We are happy with the truck. We had a ton of fun cruising around in it today and we will see you guys probably in a couple weeks. Things have been slow, life has been crazy. What are you gonna do guys?